Hello, welcome to Romero Threads on YouTube where it's all about embroidery. In today's video, I am going to embroider on the sleeve of this Carhartt jacket. So as you can see, very tough double layer, okay, Carhartt. Today, I'm going to use the 4.25 by 13 sleeve mighty hoop. Perfect, perfect, perfect for this type of project because first of all, very thick material. Second, we're going kind of pretty deep in the sleeve. All right, so we want to make sure we maintain a strong base just so we don't get any shifting in our embroidery. So here I have the freestyle station and just real quick, just so I could show you this station here, it's adjustable. So it works with a lot of your other hoops. Okay, so you could kind of mix and match hoops all the way up to a 13 inch. So it's perfect for this one here. All right, so you just kind of line it up here. All right, once you got this, you're ready to go. All right, so all I'm gonna do is cut my cutaway so it could fit here. Now that I have my cutaway ready to go, I'm just going to place it here. So it's just gonna fall perfect, all right? It falls perfectly in. All right, I got my cutaway nice and flat here. All right, so I'm gonna do it on my Carhartt jacket. I did do a video on how I did the backside. All right, so if you wanna see that, I'll link it down below. Let me just prepare the sleeve. I just wanna make sure I get it straight down the sleeve. So in order to prepare it, okay, so I quickly wanna just make my line here. All right, we wanna use the sleeve here the natural crease we just want this natural crease to help us form the line we don't really have to measure anything because this is your natural straight line here all right so just mark a line a dot here just mark a dot along the line i'm using my water soluble white chalk pencil okay so all this stuff comes off very easily all right, so I made my lines here. So now that I've made my white lines, I just gotta make this straight line go here. So I use this straight line as a guide. Kinda help me guide to get a straight line down here. So I wanna put the jacket here, since it's so heavy, you don't want it to hang. And then you just kinda wanna slide this in. All right. So what you want to do, you want to hold this kind of this part here. All right, because that's where you're going to center it. So this hard seam, this is our center line. And you just want to pull it okay, from the sleeve and then flatten it out. We have it nice and flat. I know I have it centered here. Okay. All right, once we're good, just place it down. All right, and then just flatten it out a bit. All right, all right, looks like we're good here. All right, so you could just double check. All right, now, I don't know if you could see how straight this line is. All right, but I can confirm that my line is straight. Uh, I wanna go kind of like two fingers down, about two fingers down, so I'll be like about here. Now we should be good to go, so we just pull this out. Of course, you always wanna gently pull this out. Let's see if we can get a good view here. All right, so this is a perfect view. Okay, perfect, perfect view right here. Okay, so my hoop it's perfectly okay really you can make a design right you could pretty go you could go pretty deep on your design because you do have ample space for your embroider machine to go in okay so space wise we got a we we do have a good amount of space so your machine could fit so as you can see Right, your arm could fit pretty good of your your embroidery machine. All right, so let's see. All right, just trying to give you some good views. 
So let's take it to the machine and let's start our embroidery. All right, so we are now here at the machine. Okay, so we want to carefully place it. Okay, so it should easily slide in. All right, you wanna hear those double clicks? Now it's very easy for something to get jammed here on the back side. All right, so here on the back side, it's very easy for something to get jammed. So just kind of be aware and kind of put it in slowly. So now we have it hooped up on the embroidery machine, ready to go. But of course, the first thing we're going to do is trace it. All right, it looks like we are good to go. All right, um, yeah, there's nothing else to do but to push start. Let's go ahead, let's push start. All right, so we are off the station. I'm just gonna use this tie pin. So this tie pin can easily take off this uh, chalk mark that I put, or you could use a wet rag or damp cloth okay very easy to get off all right so very straightforward to do the shoulders all right so you also have the option to keep on going down all right even lower so let me take off the hoop here all right so looks very very fresh very clean let's see let me see let me get you a good angle here all right, so we're looking very clean. All right, so backing, of course, you always want to check your uh, your sand stitches. Looks nice and clean back here. All right, so let me just give you some quick details about this project. Needles, I use a uh, seventy-five eleven titanium. RG, so uh, RG needles for uh, Gross Beckerts. Very strong for this type of material. Uh, for the stars, I use a size 65 needle for the stars. So this is a 60 weight thread just to get that nice details. All right, so I don't know if you could see it here. All right, I don't know if you could see it here, but look at these details. Let's look at the details. So as you can see right here, we got some good details right here. Any questions that you have, make sure you leave them down in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.